this is the drama I'm going to be working on. It's the front brake on a 1970s Honda SL125. The brakes on these bikes are pretty bad, so I'm hoping I can do some things to improve them. First thing to do is remove the wheel and have a look at the drum. The drum itself is a bit worn and there are some ridges. I could just skim it, but I've skimmed this one before and it's pretty close to its maximum diameter already. Normally drums like these have a maximum diameter cast or stamped into them somewhere. The maximum for this drum is 111 millimeters, but the drum is measuring up at about 110.9. Last time I skimmed this was at a company I worked for, which had a really big lathe and I could get the whole wheel and tire in it. My lathe's a lot smaller, so I'm gonna to have to unlace the rim, which means removing the tire and inner tube and then trying to undo all these spoke nipples. Any I can't undo, I'll just cart and find some replacements. These Tetra Pak cartons, like juice cartons, are really useful for changing tires without damaging the rim. Amazingly, I've managed to get all the spoke nipples undone, so I won't have to find any replacements. What I'm going to do now is tap the bearings out and clean up the hub in the vapour blaster. The hub has cleaned up quite nicely so next I'm going to set the hub up in the lathe on an arbor and then machine out the old liner. I bored out the hub to 117 millimeters, so now we need to make a piece to fit into it. And for that, I've got this piece of cast iron. Normally I'd use an old brake disc, uh, this part here, but I can't find any small enough for this hub, so I've had to buy a bit. I'm going for an S6 interference fit between the hub and the new liner. So the OD of this needs to be about 0.1 millimeters or four thou bigger than the bore in the hub. It's 
it's quite warm at the moment so I'm gonna let that cool down before I measure it and take the last couple of passes now that the hub is bored and the new liner machined I'm gonna cool the liner down in the freezer and heat the hub up with a blowtorch this will shrink the liner and expand the hub so hopefully I can just drop the liner into the hub The liners now are really tight fit in the hub and I don't think it would spin under braking but to be sure I'm going to put a pin down between the hub and the liner. Now that the hub's been relined, I'm going to press in new bearings and a new seal, then relace the wheel and put the inner tube and tyre back on. The wheel is back together and ready to go onto the bike, but before I reinstall it, I'm going to machine the brake shoes as well, so that they'll have good contact with the drum. I've got these EBC brake shoes. You can see the brake material doesn't go down as far as the old ones. What I should have done is send the old ones off to be relined with oversized brake material, but I'll go ahead with these EBC ones for now. I've put a couple of washers in between the brake cam and the shoes to preload the shoes slightly. So now I'm going to turn them down to match the brake drums 111mm diameter.
So that's the drum relined and refitted. All I've got left to do is adjust the brake cable and test the brakes out. I'm not completely happy with the brake shoes so I'll send off the old ones to get oversized linings and machine them to fit instead. Relining drums takes quite a bit of work and I'd say it's only worth doing if the hubs are expensive or hard to find. Usually I would recommend just fitting a good condition used hub.